All right, it's been a minute since I've done a video like this, and I am rusty at it, but we are in dire need of having a discussion, me and you, mano y mano. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video where we just chatted, and I kind of regret not making a year in review video last New Year's um, for the first time in like 11 or 12 years. And the reason I didn't do that was because I felt like I didn't have anything positive to say, and I didn't want to look back on a negative video, which is stupid, because in hindsight, that's the whole point. Like have something to look back on, but doesn't matter. Um, but this video is going to be kind of longer because, because it's going to, it's going to be basically me talking about everything that's happened in the past year, things that are going to be happening in the future on this channel, things that I'm going to be making video wise. And then also talking about the second channel night mode. Um, and, and in general, just catching people up to shit because it's been a while since I made like a video, like I said, where I just sat down it, it, old YouTube style, you know what I mean? Almost like a podcast. And what's the problem? Like what went on in the last year, two years where, um, I feel like we've gotten to a point where this feels weird for me to do. Um, pretty much I hit a, I hit 30, I'm 30 now and I'm a boomer and I went through pretty much what every boomer went through where they're like, okay, so what, what's going on? What's next? And, uh, it's been almost 15 years since I've been making YouTube videos. It's been 14 years since I uploaded thoughts the week, week one, and that means that half of my life has been spent in front of a camera making videos, which is fine by me. But you got to think at some point that that's got to change a man, right? Like I, I can't be all good up there in the head after just consuming content for half for, for 15 years, like half my life. Um, and, you know, I just felt like I needed to take some time to figure out a better way to adjust my life balance with, you know, like streaming and and videos and um, my record label night mode and, and just trying to have a social life and a relationship and all this stuff. And it was really hard for me because I've not juggled all that. I pretty much only had one thought in my head the entire time, um, in the last 10 years or so. And that is like, wake up, make content, stream, tweet, go to sleep, do it again. And probably not healthy, but it, was still fun. But throughout the last like two years where I had this Twitch contract, I had an editor, right? And I was working with him and he was a great editor, way better than me. Um, very talented, very funny. And what happened was I basically said, hey, I should have somebody else edit my videos so I have more free time to stream and do whatever else I wanted to do, which was a great idea at the time. Bad idea in principle because even though my editor was fantastic, I lost connection with whatever you guys wanted to see. What I, I didn't know if what I was doing was actually entertaining because I never actually saw any of it, right? Like, I'm not watching my own streams, and I, and I, and I really wasn't watching my own videos. And so I actually got scared to look at YouTube comments for a whole two years. Like, I never read YouTube comments. I didn't want feedback. I was like, that's, oh, God. And then I felt cringe to watch my own videos because it wasn't even me making it. It was like me watching a YouTuber. And I don't watch YouTubers, really. So I was like, God damn. And I felt disconnected. And um, I didn't like that. And so the first major change that I I, I made um, at, the, er, at the start of this year was I um, parted ways with my editor. Shout out my editor one time, Straight Villains. But... Um, and I started editing my content again, which was great because even though that takes like two hours a day, but uh, it's more fun because I know what I think is funny. And I also know what I think is fun to make content wise. And so it's good to it, it feels a little bit like, um, you know, you can be a, a head chef at a, a restaurant. Right. But like ultimately, even if people are making it pretty, pretty good, like, you know how you want it to be made. So you, you can make it yourself. And um, I like it. I've uploaded way less videos than I ever used to upload, about like two a week on the main channel. I used to do, I mean, oh my God, I used to do seven a week. I used to do literally a video every day. Um, awful, by the way, not going back to that. But like I, I found a good balance where like I edit the videos that I want to edit and they turn out the way that I want them to and I love it. And so that's why you see literally only Counter-Strike videos and some Zillow and some cooking on this channel. Why? Because that's what, this channel's for now. That's what it is. I, I literally love the freedom to upload whatever I want, but I know that after 15 years of YouTube, like people want Counter-Strike on this channel. That's what you're going to fucking get. And on top of that, you're going to get me. You're going to get the vloggy stuff, the stuff that's not really gameplay centric, but it's just me, these videos, you know, because that's the whole point of this channel. And that's what I think would make me happy. But on the flip side, 
The second channel is literally getting every single video that I ever make with like Smitty, Eli Flom and like random sim games and some of the jankier shit because I don't have to care if that gets views. It's just like, I think it's going to be a good video. So I upload it and I don't care if people don't watch it and they only want Counter-Strike because that's like whatever. So if you're not already interested and in sub to Jericho Plays over, um, over there, Here's your invitation to do so. I upload literally like two to three times a week over there as well. And it's like FIFA, um, like NBA 2K, fucking Death Run, you know, whatever it is. If it's like weird content, it's going over there. If it's me or Counter-Strike, it stays here. Um, but like, I, I, I mean, on top of doing all this shit, I felt super disconnected with the internet, right? Because like, truthfully, I think that a core component of being funny online is being terminally online, right? You have to be kind of a little tinge of miserable and you have to be spending every waking moment consuming the internet in order to be relevantly funny on a platform like Twitter, because Twitter's about now and, or it was, it's about what's happening now. And I think that like, I never got into TikTok and I still am not think the videos and content are funny. I just don't like sit down and consume that app really very much. And I'm just like, I feel disconnected from a lot of the things that I used to like to do because the sites changed and my priorities changed and I just don't want to play the game anymore. And that's really what it came down to. Like for the last year or so, I've had to cope with the idea that both I can't have two things. I cannot maintain or grow in like size and success by just having fun but in order for me to continue doing what i am doing right now and streaming and making youtube videos and stuff i have to not give a shit about the rat race because that's not fun to me and if i try and care i will literally go insane you know um i like i understand what it takes and i have for a long time whether it's thumbnails tagging otherwise content you know here's my intro and here's like a tidbit of the hype part of the video and make sure you stay tuned and like and follow i fucking hate it dude I think that sometimes I forget myself because things worked out really well. I think that sometimes I forget that I too literally just wanted to make videos that people wanted to watch on, on the internet. There was no money to be made. I never thought of it as a business. I didn't even, that wasn't a possibility. There was no business to be had. And so just because it got turned into a business doesn't mean that I have to also like do that. <laughs> like I can, I can walk it back. I can still just do it the way I originally wanted. And I just think that's an important distinction, right? I, I But I struggled with that because, like, you see your numbers go down on anything and you're like, what am I doing wrong? But in reality, I just had a, a, a long time accepting that um, just like, you know, you might have, like, that favorite family restaurant that's been in your town for, like, 35 years and you grew up eating there all the time and you don't go there pretty much ever at all, but, like, sometimes you do. And when you do, it's like, damn, they got the same spaghetti meatballs. That's sick. And you get it and you're like, that's tasty. I remember that. And then, like, maybe you go do something else, and that's chill. Like, I, that's what I feel like. I feel like an old family restaurant. I'm not changing my shit up. I'm not making a YouTube intro. I'm not doing it. But if that's something that you you like every now and then, or if you really prefer that, like, guess what? I'm going to be here. So, that that I mean, that's really what it came down to is, like, me finding a comfortable balance where, like, I need to accept that there is a level of, like, like, commitment to trying to stay relevant that I'm just not interested in anymore. And I just kind of want to go back to having fun, which is cool. Um, and then on the flip side of things, right? Like, I feel like I sucked at doing a good job of not only informing everybody on YouTube about this, but also like keeping people up to date on other platforms about like what I do outside of making gaming videos. Like night mode is my, my, my number one project, like make no mistake about it. That is what I'm going to do for the next 10, 20, 30 years of my life. Like, I have started a record label that for the past four years has grown faster than almost any label in the world. And it is literally in Counter-Strike, in Fortnite, in, in like, uh, like in Valorant broadcasts on, on Twitch. And it's being, our music's literally being played at the NBA Finals. And Tiesto is actually playing one of our songs every single music uh, festival that he plays for the last year, like Skrillex plays our music, <laughs> like, like full stop. Like that's a thing. And our artists that we release with are working with Skrillex and it like, so, like literally for the last four years, I have been helping, 
um, and like and running something that I never thought I'd be able to do. And I feel like I haven't done a good job ever talking about that on here because um, I made one video. I was like, yo, I made a record label, guys. Isn't that cool? And that was three years ago. Because I don't really know how to talk about stuff like that. I thought that maybe it wasn't super interesting and that it would hurt my numbers to just like make a video about music. But as you can tell from our earlier 10 minute conversation, I don't really care that much anymore. So um, what you can expect is like about every three months or so, I'd like to make a video talking about every release that I put out on the label um, in the last three months, which is usually around like 10, 12 and I want to go through and talk about the artists. I want to introduce people to new music they've never heard before. I want to talk about friends of mine that are releasing on it. I want to show you guys the cool stuff that I've been doing when we throw shows in L.A. or when we take over uh, like a stage at EDC. Like these are things that I don't do a good job explaining or sharing with people. And so I think sometimes like one of the worst things, it's cool for me, but at the same time, it kind of sucks. Like there are a lot of people that come up to me and like, dude, I didn't know you ran night mode. I watch you on YouTube and I'm like, well, what the fuck am I doing out here? It's in the top level of the description of every video and stuff. But um, so, yeah, like I have been working my ass off, not just on YouTube to edit videos that I think are fun and not just to stream every day on Twitch for five hours, but to like literally build up what I hope to be the next big independent record label. One that is like helping service artists from small who have never released with anybody before, which we've done to like we have Grammy award winning artists on our label. I, like I'm not sure anybody like really knows that like uh, like like transient is literally made up of Grammy award winning uh, musician. So it's like we're doing the thing. How do I tell people about it? Because I'm really proud of it. So um, that's kind of where it's at right now. You guys are gonna get a new video um, in a in a couple days about um, night mode and just talking about the releases from the last year, talking about future releases that we have coming up, some cool things that we're doing, um, and just catching people up to speed because I feel like I owe it to you, I owe it to myself, and I like talking about it. And if I like talking about it, then that's kind of the whole point of this YouTube channel. So um, I don't know. If you guys want to stay up to date on night mode stuff, you guys can uh, actually sign up for our tech service. I know that sounds weird, but it is the only way that you're going to find out about like merch drops or um, like uh, get free downloads to music. And we don't spam your messages. So uh, I actually think it's a really good and you just link your Spotify to it and it will literally add our releases to your Spotify like songs when they come out if you would like that. So it makes it easy for you. You don't have to figure out when we're releasing stuff. But um, I don't know, man. I'm I, I feel good right now. I feel like I've got a great balance of things, and I feel like I'm really making some of the best um, video content that I made in a while because it's fun, and that's the important part, right? Like, if it's fun, then I'm making good stuff. And I also think that it's important for you to know that, like, if you're watching this right now still, like, 12 minutes into the video, like, I do appreciate that. Um, but, yeah, like, these kinds of videos live on this channel. Counter-Strike lives on this channel. Zillow, shitty cooking, this channel. Everything else, gameplay related, second channel. Anything with friends that's not Counter-Strike, second channel. Like, that's just the way it's going to be. I don't worry about the stuff over there. I don't worry about the views. It's just things that I think were fun, and hopefully you guys do too, which is the whole point of that. But um, thanks for watching. It felt good to do this again. And I will see you guys um, for some more CS2 content because the game comes out hopefully next Wednesday. So, yeah, buy Noctu Music Kit and Counter-Strike and help fund the label, and I will talk to you guys later.